It's which team has made enough improvements of their own and has the best shot. I'm going to go ahead and say it's it. the New York Giants. Okay. Sorry, Manny. Manny's not happy. He's Big a blue. resident How come, Katie? Okay, tell. Uh, because if you look at their one, they're great on both sides of the ball. They're only only going to get better. Uh, you add Brandon Marshall. He's certainly in win mode, win now mode. Mm -hmm. And then if you look at maybe what their weakest part is, it's the run game, right? But we're hearing maybe good things about Polly Perkins. You got to think that that offensive line is gelled enough to improve again. And if you look at 2011, they won the Super Bowl and they stuck it to Tom Brady with the worst run game in the league that year. Mm. They were dead last so true. I in a rushing that, attack. Yeah. So maybe they don't really need that. So you have your your pass rush, right? And back in the day, it was, you know, your, your Strahan and Tuck. And now you've got Vernon and JPP. And you had your Ooh. Plex. And now you have maybe a better even option in Brandon Marshall. So... I feel like this is great. They have a new added element I also love in Evan Ingram, who everybody is, but I've never heard <laughs> such, hype, such hype about a tight end going into camp. Apparently, you think these six weeks they're out partying, they're rookies, they're at home, maybe spending time with family. He decided to stay in New Jersey. He's here work, working on the playbook, working on him, leading into training camp. I love that. And that's not really, I mean, since what? Since, would you say, Shockey? They haven't really had a tight sure. end that's not sort of star. stood out yeah. in that offense. They're expecting him to make plays day one, which is exciting. It is exciting. Giants are the ones that could take him on. And, by the way, that is the Super Bowl that I want to see. You want to see Giants, Patriots, Super Bowl, part three. I think if you're Tom Brady, you want nothing to do with the Giants. That's oh. the team that you're like, I really don't want to play them. But also, if you're Brady, you're like, well, this is the only thing that I haven't done, right? Every, every superhero has its kryptonite. This is mine. So I do sort of want to face them as well. It feels like the Giants are the one thing, not only in Tom Brady's career, but maybe even his life, in which he has a score to settle. You think he has nightmares about the Giants? I would, because, I mean, I have this incredible life, family, career, whatnot. But the Giants got me, and the Giants got me again. And But at the same time, you want to sort of take them on and beat them so you can 100%. say. I wouldn't settle that score. I would have seven Super Bowl rings if it weren't for the New York Giants. And I could get eight this year. I think it's a score to settle. If I'm Brady, I want New York. Yep. And I think you may get him, Kay, as you laid out a good case. The only thing I'm wondering, too, uh -huh. think about Odell. And I think about him in the playoffs. And, you know, Nate last week did his uh, top combos of wide receivers. And he had Odell and Marshall a lot lower than we thought. We thought they'd be up one, maybe two, something like that. And remember, we asked him, you would rather have Julian Edelman on your team than Odell Beckham Jr.? And his answer was so fascinating. He just said, look, I know Julian right. Edelman can win a yeah. playoff game. I yeah. know he can be there in the big spots. I haven't seen that from Odell yet. But now it's not just Odell. Hopefully you do have help from Brandon Marshall in the locker room, off the field, and on the field. And then you also do have a guy like Evan Ingram. Evan Ingram, who so apparently has got the pressure may be off Eli, even if they don't have the run game. But then we all know that Eli does the best when he has all the pressure So true. On him. He's like no one else. We'll mm -hmm. see what happens to Odell. We're I look to the Houston Texans. Okay. I look to the Houston Texans. And into the past, I'm going to take us back to 2011. 2011, the Patriots were doing Patriots things. They were 14 and two, just cruising. It's Wes Welker. It's been Jarvis. They lost to the New York Jets. Okay. They lost to the New York Jets, K. Also the Jets. At home. <laughs> right. They lost to the Jets, too. But. So this is a playoff game. It's the divisional round. And the Jets come in with a second-year quarterback, Mark Sanchez, a great defense, and a running a game, running Tony. Game. A great sure. running. Yep. They came in there with LaDainian Tomlinson and Sean Green. Again, this is in Foxborough. Brady wasn't going to lose this game. They got smacked. There goes Harris. Who's that guy? With the interception. His new teammate. Oh this was the can't-wait game from Bart Scott. I bring this up because this is what the Houston Houston, Texas will attempt to do this year. Have a second-year quarterback. I don't care if it's Tom Savage. Maybe it's Deshaun Watson, whoever it is. The great, the number one defense. We're talking about a team that got better. The Texans added the most dominant defensive player in football, J.J. Watt. Let's look further into the past or closer. 2017, Texans versus Patriots. They gave Brady all he could handle. The, the, the Patriots' offense did not win this game. The defense did. They made him maybe the worst Patriots playoff game Tom Brady's ever played, and again, they did it without J.J. Watt. You don't see him in any of these highlights. So I looked at this season. Watt is back. They drafted a linebacker in the second round. Clowney is healthy. They're could saying this be it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a crazy tandem. This could be the team. Their defense is that good. If Savage can minimize mistakes, they well, can run the ball. Well, answer that question. Have, is, that, is that going to happen? Do you have much confidence do you have in Tom Savage? People seem to have a lot. I don't know. I haven't seen enough. The Texans mm -hmm. seem to like him. Mm -hmm. But again, if the defense is that good, it could be Tom Savage, it could be Deshaun, it could be Emma Watson. I don't care. As <laughs> long as they have that defense. She has magic. What do you think, T. Rich? Uh, you know what? I, I, I kind of like that because, I do, like I said, I do think they have a strong running game. I think the defense, because defense wins championships. That's the reason why I don't have any uh, Super Bowl rings. But I, I definitely think that uh, 
Yeah, I think the, the Titans are a pretty good pick. Texans, uh, yeah. Take, I mean, Texans. Texans but my, getting to Brady, right? Yes, yes to Brady. every single time. My team that I would actually go with, and it's a team I know pretty well just because I played against them for, unfortunately, a, a lot of years when I was in Kansas City, I would go with the Raiders. Okay. And my team is the Raiders just simply because they're getting ready to leave the black hole. Is this hard for you to No, it's, it's so hard to wear. Right. So, but you know what I did? So I actually painted my fingernail red because I knew I had to talk about the, the yeah. Raiders, and they all wear black. I had black last week. I'm not doing black again. So you won't see black the That's rest Chiefs of the season. Chiefs red? Is that what this that is? This is Chiefs red? Uh, okay. Chiefs bracelet. Here we go. Right. So I'm talking. A lot of people wearing strange Chiefs accessories the last couple of days. I mean, oh, <laughs> we can't get into that quite just <laughs> yet. Associate. What do you mean? Oh, what are you talking about? Right. I'm talking about Dr. Jordan Metzl. Here we go. All right, so <laughs> my, I would say the Raiders, just simply that because we do know the Raiders are about to leave the black hole. I don't know if you guys have ever been to the black hole. It's probably the most scariest place that you ever played okay. football. That's why it's my favorite. Yeah. Ah, the black hole. You yeah. know what's so funny? I would tell my parents, I was like, okay, if you guys decide to come to a game in, in Oakland, you cannot wear anything red because if you do, I might be an orphan because my parents are gone. <laughs> so don't ever, wear, don't ever wear red in the black hole. So I think they're going to christen the black hole now because we know they're going to Vegas, right? And so I think that, you know, the fans are going to send them off the right way. I do have I, have, a, I have a belief that there's a chance that they're going to win the division, the AFC West. Yeah. And if they win a division and somehow the Patriots stumble, they might have to play games in the black hole. If they play games in the black hole, I would put my it, money on the Raiders. It could have happened last year. Well, it definitely yeah. could have happened. A couple things broke right. Khalil Mack will be a huge key in that. Is their defense, yep. though, good enough? Well, that's what Mack is. That's a good question. That's funny. Brady might go right through that defense. Well, everyone was saying it. Cause I, you know, I talked to a few of my friends. I actually called some lifelines last night. And everyone was saying, well, they didn't sure up the defense. But guess what they did do? They brought in a running back by the name of Marshawn Lynch. Uh. He's been wearing kilts. He's been traveling around the world. Everyone thinks, oh, he's a little bit too old to be, you know, playing again. But you know what? The fact that he's set out for a while, he has a, he has a fresh set of legs. And you know what? He's playing in front of his hometown crowd. If I ever had a chance to play in my hometown crowd, it would be in Germany. But if I had a chance to play in front of my hometown crowd, I think I would ball out. Marshawn Lynch is Oakland. If you go to Oakland, there's a sign that says, Welcome to Oakland. You see Ice Cube, and then you see Marshawn he's Lynch. He's making That's that very thing. clear. He's been all over the country, all over the place. especially lately. He's been yeah. throwing out the first pitches, and there he's is. just bought a restaurant, I think, in Oakland uh, to keep it around really? as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is he winning the offseason? Is that going to be I later think, on I think the show? he is winning, winning the offseason.